Got the B team. <laughs> hey. you know what? The best team. That's that what I'm saying. Nice. The best team. <laughs> that water. How is it going? The heck was that? I don't know if the camera caught that. Stingray. How's it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Kiwis Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Got my lovely fiance, Paddle and Madeline. <laughs> the B teamer. The B teamer. <laughs> cooking with clams you know him we um kind of just headed out today looking for a couple of groupers to eat if you watched the last episode uh may 1st down here grouper season opens which is kind of a big deal for us uh, i did co a commercial trip on the first and i've been running some charters and i think it's like the fourth or the fifth and i um, kind of have the day off so we're going to run out and try and find a couple to eat that is the goal for today we are going to spend probably the majority of the day in the shallows we're in about I think it's like 12, 15 feet, something like that. But hell yeah. Um, <laughs> water's nice and clear. Winds are light. We're suiting up to get in the water. Do you have anything more shallow? <laughs> anything? I don't want to get you too excited, but definitely saw a small yellow jack just swim by. This is the super secret yellow jack spot. That's why I'm here. Oh. So I secretly want to, not secretly, I just told you. I want a yellow jack. Been craving some sashimi, oh. and I've been just informed by Madeline and Will they want no assistance in locating a grouper. I didn't say that. She <laughs> said, <laughs> "I want to find mine." She wants to find her own grouper. You no assistance. Double. You always like, ooh, right here. I'm just trying to help. I know. I don't want any help. All right. I want to be. No I I want to recreate the scene from Ghost. <laughs> We're here. Both our hands are on the trigger. <laughs> I want the charter experience. The charter. I mean, I'm sure it'll, I'll change my mind after this first spot, but.
and Madeline has tapped out. <laughs> tap out. She wants the charger experience. She wants me to help her find one. So whatever. We've got a grouper here and a rock. Uh, we got her in a little one of the little grovers. They're a little easier to maneuver and like a, a tight hole. So I'll show you where he's at. Follow me. side like this and look all the way through he's sitting broadside like this but just take your time don't rush it I'll show you where If you go in there right now, he's actually sitting out. So go in there with the light and the gun ready. If you see him, just pop him. He, if, once he sees the light, like maybe a second or two, he's going to shift back. Um, but go in there, gun and light ready. Slowly around the corner, try not to bump the gun into the side of the rock or anything. Get your good breath, take your time. Don't feel like you have to shoot at first because he's going to stay in there. I've pulled probably 30 or 40 group out of that same hole, so I like this one. I doubt, I doubt he'll leave unless you shoot at him. So here's the light. So the grouper's been kind of readjusting. He's not really sitting still, but we think we have him in a position that he'll hopefully sit still. So babe, what you want to do is, that rock is creating a blind spot for you. So come from this side, swim over it slowly with the light until you just barely see his nose, and then keep going until you have enough to shoot into, and let it rip. No pressure. Shot. <laughs> so we messed with that group for probably what 30 minutes um, and it's not uncommon for, for that to happen uh, I guess eventually it just we weren't looking when we were talking on the surface it swam out of the back and disappeared I searched the hole top to bottom and could not find it um, 
and it happens guiding fairly often. It's uh, something I don't think people realize what, while I'm doing this and I'm helping people in the water. Your first opportunity, seeing a fish is normally your best opportunity. So when I'm trying to help people locate fish, it makes it very difficult because we're looking at the fish repeatedly and you can only look at a fish so many times before it gets restless. Um, so it does make it difficult. It is one of the challenges of being a guide, um, trying to help people find fish, but that happens all the time. On to the next, I guess. No monster, but I will take it. We are slowly plugging along. Seen a lot of groupers, just not a lot of big ones. Um, we had that one opportunity so far. This is our third spot. Sometimes the shallows are good. Sometimes they're a little slow. Today they're a little slow. But we've got a couple fish. Keep working down.
pretty neat. So not a fish that I would typically shoot. This is actually called a blue runner. Um, some people call them hardheads. It's in the, from my understanding, it's in the jack family. Um, if you remember that yellow jack I shot earlier, very similar shape, uh, just a little different color. This one for the most part is all silver when it's in the water, kind of a gray color. Got a little bit of green to it, but um, I have heard people rant and rave and say that these are great sashimi. And because I have a yellow jack in there, I thought it'd be cool to, um, compare them side by side. Yellow Jack's phenomenal sashimi. We're a big fan of sushi and sashimi and all that stuff in the house. So uh, there were a few blue runners swimming around. So I figured I'd pop one, just a smaller one. I didn't want to shoot a big one just in case it wasn't that great, but um, actually very curious to give that a try. Oh, hi. <laughs> you slay them? Um, no. <laughs> Look at this barracuda still following you, babe. See? He's been I'm following you the whole time. I'm telling you. I'd follow you around too, if I'm being honest. Well, we're going to call it. I've got about eight days of diving coming up, so I'm going to be exhausted if I stay out here any longer. Just a good old-fashioned slow day in the shallow water. Um, if there's one thing I've learned when it comes to fishing or diving or hunting in general, do not make dinner plans with the food that you have not yet secured. So we had planned on having grouper for dinner. That doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. <laughs> but we do have some eats. So we've got a yellow jack. That is actually a bar jack. Will shot it. <laughs> all right. right. All he, right. No, he was practicing his, his center placement. Look at that. That was dead center of the fish. It was very good. Uh, it's how you shoot and believe the fish. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> that's a nice mangrove. Nice mangrove. So these all very these all very these look very similar. This is a Yellow Jack, this is a Bar Jack, this is a Blue Runner, or some people call them Hardheads. Um, this is Phenomenal Sashimi. I, I think I've tried these. I think these are about the same, but I've also heard Blue Runners um, taste great as well as Sashimi. I, that's one I've never tried. If you've done any type of offshore fishing or whatnot, you've probably used Blue Runners for bait, for King Mackerels, Wahoo. Um, you will use the smaller ones for sailfish from time to time, but uh, I think a lot of times we have these ideas of what we think fish taste like and they're, those are created by a lot of times what we've heard, not what we've actually tried. So I want to give that a try. I've heard other people that said they've done it sashimi, so I do want to try it. Um, but that's all I've got out here. Do you guys have anything you want to share? <laughs> I, I had a great day snorkeling. I did too. I, really... I shot a mutton. Um, it just oh yeah, Malin shot a oh. mutton and it tore out. I, I wasn't there with the camera. We missed that. but. It happened, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> I was really bummed. I saw two black grouper. We saw some black groupers, we had some opportunities, yeah. and sometimes that's how it goes. So legal red. Keeping it real. This thing's gonna fall and smash my toes. Um, that's all we have, enough talking. We'll see you back at the house, get these uh, filleted up, and have some fish. Let's see if any of these knives are actually sharp. Not at all. So these have been on ice all day. We're actually not going to eat them tonight, but I am going to flay them tonight. They have definitely firmed up enough that I can fillet them comfortably, but because we're doing sashimi and we already have dinner plans, 
I'm gonna let them rest overnight. Jack. I'll be honest, it looks pretty much like Yellow Jack. So I'm very curious to see how this even looks because I don't know that I've ever played a Blue Runner. Again, very similar shape, look, features as a Yellow Jack. This fish was bled immediately. First impressions, quite a bit darker. See, it's not nearly as white as the bar jack and as I know the yellow jack will be. But we will see. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm sold on this. A lot more bloodline. Meat's a lot darker. It's almost like a rainbow runner, though. <clears throat> Doesn't smell fishy. All right, and now our yellow jack. I have flayed many of these. See how nice and clean that one is. Beautiful. Put these in the butter knife drawer. You try to come in. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have Bar Jack, Blue Runner. A little more red or yellow jack. What do you think, Tipsy? Which one looks the best? Bar jack, blue runner, yellow jack. So what I'm gonna do is wrap these in paper towels, make them nice and dry, and uh, gonna put them in the fridge over the night or overnight and um, we'll have some sashimi tomorrow. See you then. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just like putting you in an awkward position. I know, that's Because I, ne I never know what you'll do. I've never been on camera because you're always know. messing with me. Oh, hold on, there's instructions. What is this little diagram here? Work. But no, nah, I've gone ahead. Is this Plate art. <laughs> Hands on. Um, it, yeah, it's a pie chart. <laughs> well, that's not a very good pie chart. All right. So I think I know which well, one's. I know. I know. Will knows. Mal doesn't. Know. I don't know any of so, the fish. Okay. Truth be told, I put these in the fridge. Got busy. They've been resting for two days. I uh, didn't intend to do that. It was supposed to be the next day, but um, that's good. So they're nice and tender, sliced thinly. 
There is Bar Jack, Yellow Jack, and Blue Runner in here. Mm -hmm. um, two of the three I have never tasted sashimi. I um, kind of was just curious. We had planned for grouper and we're eating bait fish. Hold on, am I the guinea pig here? No, we're all the guinea pig. <laughs> okay. So you have to try all three without soy sauce. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know about that. There's stuff on this one. Mm. Yeah. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> that doesn't taste like anything. Yeah. Not fishy though? No, not fishy. Mm, not hair. <laughs> oh, that was part of the fish. Fish hair. Fish hair. <laughs> Tastes exactly the same, pretty much. This has actually a little bit of flavor on that it. That has more flavor. It does. And it's a better flavor. This Ooh, is... yeah, what is that? I'll tell you oh, oh. shortly. <laughs> Alright. It hit me after. But yeah, this, this yeah. guy has a, a, yeah. quite, quite a bit more flavor. This is literally so mild. Mild doesn't have any flavor. Ooh. Hold on, am I... Okay. Game changer. I need, I, know a, I need a clean palate. <laughs> I know which one that is, and that's, that's wild. That tastes like Spanish mackerel. That's impressive. That tastes like Spanish mackerel. Whoa. That, yeah, it does. Yep. That's the, that's the best one. Mmm. Whoa. Wow. On. I want, Game changer. I want. Okay. So. Am I supposed to guess? Because it's all. No, you have to guess. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them. So if I had to rank them. These two are very close, just different. This has a really nice flavor. I don't want to use the word fishy because it's, it, but it does taste more like fish. But I like that flavor. It has. I mean, if I was in a sushi restaurant, that's the piece. Yeah, I that's want. the piece I would want. Yeah. This is more, um, say, user friendly. Yeah. This is just doesn't taste like anything. Whatever well, you but put on the top. Yeah. They're all great texture. Wow, these are these are very close. So I will tell you. This is Bar Jack. So Bar Jack was last place. That's what you got, right? Still, yeah, right in the middle. Right, of the right in the middle. Of the fish. Um, this is Bar it's Jack. It's called a bullseye. Okay. A bullseye. Yeah. We did get some stuff from it. All right, I'm gonna finish this. This is Bar Jack, still very edible. Just doesn't have flavor. Doesn't really taste like anything. Nice and tender, white, soft. Very edible. It would taste like whatever sauce you put on it. Yeah. The center is Yellow Jack, and this is actually Blue Runner. And you can see it does have almost a pink reddish color, but I will be honest, it has a great flavor. That's I thought that person that made that video was full of it. So it's almost like Spanish mackerel and uh, rainbow runner. I cannot believe that. It's actually more subtle than rainbow runner. Like genuinely. That's the best kind one of my kind of mind blowing. And that's three days old, four. Yeah. From actually the day we shot it, yeah, it's about three and a half. But that yeah. that's even proof too, because wow. none of them taste fishy or old. They taste perfect. Blue Runner sashimi. I I kid I kid you not. I don't. We don't do this for for the wow factor. That it's actually delicious. When are we going to get more? I got more in the fridge. I didn't. Okay. I only sliced up a little. I only sliced up a little because I didn't think we were going to eat it. I think this that is my that favorite. big school like that big school passed me and I passed on him because I was like, I'm not going to shoot a jack. I was like, like hmm. man. Well, well, there you go. Well, thanks, Will. That's all we got. <laughs> no, not me. I, <laughs> I got a tasteless one. <laughs> oh, oh, right. <laughs> Yellow Jack's still very delicious. Well, thanks for nothing, Will. <laughs> Blue Hold on, can on the I, radar. Can I have the last piece? Yeah, there's more. I can slice up more. All oh, right. Bad. That's all we have. Long story short, don't make dinner plans. You never know what's going to happen out there. We were hoping for grouper. Didn't come together, but we got Blue Runner, baby. If you got the grouper, you never would have done that. Know, and we wouldn't true. have known how good. Sorry, Blue Runners, but now we know. <laughs> <laughs> now yeah, screw the grouper. Yeah, now it's game on. <laughs> Just kidding. That's all we've got. Hey, grouper. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, any questions, as always, leave it in the comments. And we'll see you on the next one. Anyone have anything? That is all. <laughs> this anything is putting, you need to share? This is putting me on the spot again. <laughs> this is why I'm awkward on camera. Keep an open mind. <laughs> because I'm constantly messed with. See ya. Bye. <laughs> okay, can I have the rest of mm -hmm. all of this? Perfect. Bro. Dude. Hey. Blue Runner. Never. I mean, I eat everything. And I would never, I wouldn't be like, uh, let me get one of those. Like I would even get- Just based on the color, I thought it was gonna be really fishy, mm -hmm. like bloody flavored. That's why I wasn't really pumped about eating it. I'm just mind blown.
The amount of blue runners that I've not shot <laughs> or cut. The amount of I've fed to kingfish and wall. Yeah. <laughs>